All right, guys. Um, today we're going to get started on um, helping Clover with her consent work. So I'm going to double down on this and really just focus on um, some consent work just because it's more of a passive training than an active <coughs> training because Clover will be getting spayed next week. So um, she really can't do a lot of active work next week. So, um, and for the like seven to 10 days afterwards. So um, working on her consent work and calming skills will be a way to help her with that. Uh, so I've got a chair out. What my goal of today is, is to move um, chin from my hands to a pointed location. And if I can get her to maintain a chin rest, then um, I can walk around her body and be able to do mock exams and things like that. Um, uh, prep for injections and nail trims and basically do a lot of home care with her on my own so I don't have to have a handler. Um, so we'll see how this goes. <coughs> so this step is really just... Today's step is really just um, seeing if we can transfer a chin rest from chin to chin, which she doesn't have it, so chin. So we'll see how it goes. Um, she really, really loves the chin rest. It's her favorite skill, so we'll see how this works. Um, so let me get my cookies. Got my cookies. Um, she didn't eat breakfast yet, and she didn't really eat her dinner last night. Um, she's probably just a teenage. So we're gonna put her mat down. We're gonna tell her that we're working. Um, and Jim. Yes, good job. So how I'm doing this is I'm just moving um, my hand. Jim. Yes. Job. I'm just kind of transferring my hands to the chair. Yes. Yes. So I'm a little late in the boat there, so I have to gradually increase the increments. We're gonna take a break, we're gonna tell some go finds. We're gonna make this fun. Go find something I don't mind playing in the house if she's recovering from a spay just because um, she's active, but she's not as active. So it's not like she's gonna be peeling off the furniture. Um, chin. Yes, good job. So she disengaged, she had niche. Chin. Yes, good job. So she gets engaged, she had an itch. I'm gonna wait for her to finish because she really didn't hear my cue. So I'm not gonna get frustrated and ask her more than once. Chin. Ear. Yes, good job. Ear. Ear. Yes, good job. Ear. Ear. Now she picked up her head. Yes, good job. Uh, to tell me she was uncomfortable with me touching her ears. Yes, good job. One. Two. 
one. Yes, good job. Good girl. Um, if she lifts up her head, it's telling me she wants to take a break. This is, I, this is, I'm ready for the next step. Chin. 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 Three. Yes, good job. Good job. Better do clever things. Chin. Here. Yes, good job. Here. Yes, good job. Yes. Go find it. Go find it. Go find it. Ear. Yes, good job. Good girl. Go find it. All right, so our session's done. I'm going to pick up the mat. I'm going to put it away. So, relax. Wait. Go get it. Um, so, Clover demonstrated a lot of opportunities where she um, wasn't comfortable. She lifted her head, something distracted her. So, I gave her an opportunity to do Clover things. Titch! Yes, good job. That was a very wimpy one. Um, so I gave her an opportunity to do clover things. Um, clover things are checking out the outdoors um, because uh, we've recently been, it's been cool enough to open the windows so she hears things outside. Reflections, um, she sees people outside. Um, so she, um, uh, she'll engage with them. So um, in a perfect world, do I want clover barking out the window and going nuts? No. But I'll give her a chance to do a couple barks and then move on. Decide that it's not that crazy serious outside that she can um, look at it and go, eh, okay, uh, move on. Um, so, but the, with the consent work, um, moving a chin rest from here to a um, flat surface, like a bench, um, is something that I can utilize. And uh, if she's able to perform um, next week during surgery, I can go, oh, look what she can do. Obviously, we have not been working long enough for the behavior to, um, be, um, so fluid that we can't do it without food. She's going to have a space. She really can't eat. So, um, but we'll see what she can do, what she's comfortable with. Hopefully at the, doing this a little bit early will help her feel more comfortable. I've been doing consent work right along, but, um, I think during recovery, it'll be really beneficial to get her brain going. Um, ex exercising new muscles because a lot of what Clover and I do are active skills and um, we go on adventures and we practice her um, ability to uh, to focus out there and do her skills out there. Um, so inside consent works a little bit more challenging. Um, what I'm going to do with her during her consent skills is I'm going to kind of mishmash up um, exams, getting her comfortable with those. Uh, working on muzzle training. Uh, I think this week I'm also going to prepare her for her bodysuit. Um, it's not the best fitting, but it'll, it'll do the job. Um, 
and uh, we're not doing a cone, it's at least in our house, because our house is not designed for a cone, um, which is fine as long as she's not getting her incision, that's good. Um, so chin rest, and then I can check her ears. Um, I want to move forward with uh, potentially cleaning her ears because it will be a maintenance thing for her lifelong as a water dog. Um, nail trimming, she's going to get nails at her spay, so it gives me an extra time to not have to do that. Um, she's six and a half months now, so I don't really have to worry. I haven't had to trim her nails up to this point. She's very well exercised, and we go to areas where she um, can uh, walk on gravel and things like that. So, um, But we're going to work on... Um, manipulation of the legs, uh, tummy exams, um, tail is another cue that I'm working on adding so that she knows I'm going for her tail in the event I have to do a temperature. Um, so, uh, what about, um, injections? So, um, I've been able to go into rooms and just do my own blood draws. I can do that, um, but I want her to feel comfortable with these things. So, why not? Pardon me, Anna, we're not sleeping. Good job. Um, but the brain is very, very um, uh, tiring exercising it when uh, you're doing training. So I always tell people, double down on your training and your skills and things when um, you're covering from surgery because um, you want these guys to be rested and relaxing and um, not very active post-surgery for about seven to ten days um, and a lot of times we're sending home meds so that we can help keep them calm I'm hoping I mean I'm gonna have it in my back pocket but I'm hoping that um, I can majority of the time exercise her brain <laughs> that was a good rollover um, and help tire her out we'll still go on our, our walks but not far um, not our adventures because a lot of our adventures tend to gravitate towards water and we shouldn't be doing that when she's got a spay incision good job um so uh there is some kind of upheaval in our house and um i was a debbie downer uh and clover is really really good at being relaxed for me and with me and being moral support um so um she she's got a good level of chill already so she's gotten plenty of practice but Consent work is a great way to exercise the brain and add new things, um, play name games with toys. Uh, so we're just going to spend this time. We're going to be going over some stuff, and I'm going to do my best to follow along from day to day and how we keep Clover exercised and busy and do some updates. Um, so I don't know how we're going to do that. Reflections. Um, but uh, I'm not sure. I don't know the whole YouTube thing, so we'll try YouTube lives. Um, but... We're going to we're gonna see if we can follow along Clover's spay journey from the week before. Yesterday was Thursday. Next week is her surgery on Thursday. Um, and uh, seven to ten days following. And we, we'll see if we can do this. Right? All right. Wait. Ah, ah, hey, what are you doing? Come here. Touch. All right. Relax. You see something? All right, you ready? Over. Go get it. All right, guys. Um, follow along. I'm gonna try and do daily posts. I'm gonna try to do YouTube lives or Facebook lives or whatever it is. But we're gonna see if we can follow Clover's journey. Um, and just show you what we're going to do and how successful um, from day to day for surgery recovery because um, we want to be able to have and set examples for what I'm suggesting for um, our clinic clients and my clients. So have a good one. If you have any questions, shoot an email. Hopefully this was not too terrible to follow along with. Um, all yawning and craziness. Uh, so have any questions let me know but hopefully um, i'll be able to set some good examples of what i envision would be a good recovery process following um a spay procedure or some other or some other surgery procedure where they need to be calm and relaxed get your porcupine get your porcupine
Uh, all right, guys, have a good one. Remember, have fun. Training should be fun for everybody. Follow up with play. Um, Lammy's going to have surgery too. Um, she's down two legs and probably going to be down another third leg. Um, so keep an eye on your, your dogs and your toys. Have a good one. Happy weekend. Um, and we'll see you later. Maybe tomorrow. Bye.